when I'm looking for the uh, wavelength of something with mass, it's called the de Broglie wavelength. It's different than the speed of light wavelength, which is just C equals lambda times nu. This is a different relationship. And so the wavelength equals H over M times U, where M is the mass in kilograms and U is the speed in meters per second. So in order to use this, I'm going to need to convert my grams to kilograms, which I did by moving the decimal, but I'm also going to have to convert that miles per hour. So I am going to convert the miles to kilometers using a conversion factor. I just used the one written here. Then I converted it to meters. Then I converted hours to minutes and then hours to seconds. So take a second and go through that slower if you need to, but that is how I'm going to set it up to convert to the speed in meters per second. All right, so my speed is 53.7 meters per second and my mass is 0 0.0124 in kilograms. So now I'm ready to plug it in. So H is Planck's constant, same Planck's constant that we've been using, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34th, joules times seconds. Joules is a unit that can be broken down into kilograms, meters, seconds, it's kilograms times meters squared per second squared. So that's why these units are important. Um, but at the end of the day, if I do it this way, I'm going to get a wavelength in meters. So we'll just know that and I'll put the numbers in my calculator and I get 9.95 times 10 to the minus 34th meters. It asks actually for centimeters. So we'll convert that. I know there's 100 centimeters in one meter. So I'll multiply so that the meters cancel. And it's 9.95 times 10 to the minus 32 centimeters.